E Frontier. So now this is bullish, okay? E Frontier first look. Uh, Web3 first look at a Web3 MMO from the EVE Online team. Now, if you guys are familiar with EVE Online, <clears throat> EVE Online is an OG game. Basically a space MMO that's very extensive and very, very uh, deep, okay? It's not a simple space exploration game or anything like that. It's like super, look how long, it's been, look, 11 years already. So they just been developing the game over years and years and years. So this is from the creators of EVE Online. Let me show you guys some gameplay of EVE Online real quick. Uh, let's look at something simple. <clears throat> let's look at something simple. Hello, hello, welcome to... All right, so look, he's in his dock. He got all these different parts and the X, Y, and Z. And now he has his ship and he has the whole freaking galaxy of things going on. So I'm not a player of EVE Online, but I've always watched it from afar. And it's very complex. They have a lot of different things going on. So, okay, boom. So he's dealing with his ship and doing X, Y, Z for his ship. I want to see a battle. Let's get to a battle. Real quick, we're gonna we're gonna look at something real quick. All right, we're gonna look at something real quick. So we're gonna look at PvP highlights. Boom. So I don't want to put the music, but y'all, they got a lot of battle going on. So from what I understand, imagine, <clears throat> imagine in this game, um, you know, you have um. They have their own monetary system in the game. You so okay. Imagine like you're a billionaire, a, a billionaire in the game. I don't know exactly their currency name, etc. But from what I understand, like let's say I have a base, I have ships, I have X, Y, and Z. Another faction can come and capture some of my stuff, and I lose it in the game, right? So it could be like if I'm a billionaire, it could be five hundred million dollars worth of my equip my uh inventory and ships and whatever and another team could potentially come and capture it and i lose that in the game so it could have took me three months to get whatever it was that i got and they could come and snatch that shit, right so there's a lot of competition in the game and there's a lot of deep elements in it so now i said all of that to say this that same team is making a Web3 MMO called E Frontier. So, in a nutshell, E Frontier. The Eve Online devs are making a crypto game you could play. You could play in two weeks, right? One of the more hardcore MMOs with stakes so high, the battles can sometimes cost more than 300k and involve thousands of players. So here's everything they just teased about their next game, Eve Frontier. The game is space survival MMO. Humans ruin civilization and the few remaining survivors fight for resources amongst themselves and other foreign species. So the game traveled through space, uh, uh, extract resources, fight for prestige or survival. Energy is a primary resource that the economy will be built around. Finite resources with uneven distribution equals constant conflict. Bullish, right? Large crafted items will be tradable on any blockchain marketplace. Bullish. Player choices drive the evolution of the world, economy, and politics. There also a, there's also a key focus on letting players and developers build apps crafting system, unique turrets, etc. that over time may become a part of the core game. That's fire. Think of it as code that interacts with specific infrastructure within the game. Eventually, the devs just become one of many builders in this world. That's so dope, bro. Currencies. So Eve, so guy, Ray, what up? Bro, Ray, how do we make money? Eve is the crypto, <laughs> okay? 
Governance and trade of items outside of the game's marketplace, all right? And Lux is the virtual trade inside the game. So I would imagine, you know, you convert Lux in-game to EVE outside of game. EVE is governance to decide what the, what the uh, economy of what's in the game goes. And players can also create their own currencies. That's bullish, right? Carved out, a, I could imagine that they're gonna have a DEX and meme coins are going to be currency of, you know, whatever factions they got going on, potentially, right? Carved out of a corner of space and want you and want to run your tribe with sub economy inside the game defined by your rules. No one is stopping you. Essentially, they're creating an authentic high risk. I reward space sandbox with crypto and a ton of smart contracts sounds ambitious I agree but this game is a chance to prove anyone to prove to anyone outside of the space that the power of blockchain in creating an environment for trustless player owned economies to thrive facts because it doesn't get more complex than the mechanics of EVE Online. If they can just take a fraction of what EVE Online is, put it in blockchain, make it verifiably fair, and then have pe allow people to build the economy inside, that's amazing. You know what I'm saying? And this will be a direct competitor to Star Atlas. And Star Atlas was able to capture lots and millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars, right? Billions of dollars. Right, so if anyone is going to do it, it's these guys. Their next private test starts on the 27th of September, so you guys can go and uh, participate in that if you want to. Go to E Frontier <clears throat> and um, tap in. And what I uh, and of course you know we we out here, you know what I'm saying we're always outside, right? Um, and what I mean by always outside is I we went into the Discord right away as soon as I saw this. And I went to go test the temperature out and see what's going on. And the temp the 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 Discord <clears throat> is filled with Eve Online players, right? Now the now it's interesting because their culture hates crypto bros. And they, they clown us, right? Because they want to play a game. They are willing to spend money for fun. They're not into the economic empowerment of owning your own property in the form of an NFT or a digital asset. So I was in there like just trying to uh, feel the room and like they're like totally like the, the people who, who play EVE online they're totally, they don't care if they they spending 10,000, 50,000, you know, they, they're paying big bucks to play the game and nerd out in the game. But they don't really care about the economic factor. So we are the DeFi warlords. Now, we love gaming, of course. If there was a way for us to be able to make gains be part of a community, and of course, contribute to the game culture and all of that. That's the perfect scenario. But of course, on the hilltop, looking through with the binoculars, we could potentially see an opportunity here where the EVE Online core community are more interested in buying, buying, buying Whereas the crypto bros are more interested in the financial aspects of things. So I see a cult. I see a potential, you know, masterpiece that could be built here because they already spent over 11 years developing this game. You know, they're basically adding the blockchain elements to it. Um, and they're using something super bullish. I don't know if I, if, if I, if I, if I, I, wa I wanted to show you guys. <clears throat> oh, yeah, 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 right here, look. E Frontier Chain L2 is called Redstone. Yo, right here, this, 
Fire. 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 Modular oracles for DeFi. Do your research on Redstone. Redstone is Ethereum is gaining recognition as the go-to yield generation, generating digital asset. Blah, blah, blah. Do your research on Redstone. Redstone is lit and they're launching on Redstone and they're using it's called Redstone and they're using some pro they're using some um they're using something called mud. It's fire. The 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 the, the tech behind it is dope. So it's not like they are just launching on some shitty L2 and doing a cash grab now they really trying to build something great here and they have really great devs right so yo but i i see potential opportunity from a monetary side for this because of the way that the eve online community is it's like nerds with money and they run they, they just want to have fun they don't care about the financial aspects but don't get it twisted like you know See, that's the thing. You have people <clears throat> within the EVE Online community. They figure out ways to make real money in EVE Online. But when the nerds who just want to have fun find out about those guys, they join together, the nerd squad, and they go after them, right? So that's what I was gathering from the Discord. Like, they're laughing at the crypto bros, because they feel like they're gonna attack the crypto bros, thinking that we're just gonna come in and just and just extract, right? So it's interesting, but we're gonna see. You know, we'll see. I think it's gonna be uh, worth the effort and um, you know doing research on the game. So so we'll find out. But uh, shout out to E Frontier. I think it could be a bullish opportunity. And of course, you know, we day one, minute one, second one as usual. You know what I'm saying?